Russia, ILS headquarters in Reston, Virginia, and many, many others who have helped make today's launch of Turkset 4B a reality. We're coming up on uh, 30 seconds before launch. It's a very clear uh, shot of the rocket, but there is a cloud deck today, and so uh, we expect the, uh, the rocket to disappear into that uh, pr pretty soon after launch. Coming up on T minus 15. And now I'll step aside as we watch the launch of Turksat 4B. And we have ignition. We have liftoff of an ILS proton from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan with the Turkset 4B satellite on board. Now about 10 seconds after liftoff, the vehicle does do a roll maneuver to align the launch vehicle pitch axis with the northeasterly launch aspect. Unfortunately with the cloud deck there, uh, the vehicle is now uh, out of sight of the cameras, but the vehicle will soon experience maximum dynamic pressure, or max Q. Now, this is the when the aer aerodynamic stresses on the vehicle in atmospheric flight are, are at their peak. And if a proton, max Q occurs about one minute and two seconds after liftoff at a velocity of Mach 1.6. And it's sometimes accompanied by a visible condensation if atmospheric and lighting conditions are favorable, which unfortunately today they're not. information I'm receiving, everything seems to be proceeding nominally as the vehicle uh, ascends over the Cosodrome in a northeasterly direction with a flight launch azimuth of approximately 61.3 degrees. About 90 seconds after liftoff. And we're coming up on the first stage separation from the second stage. Now that's set to occur at two minutes into the flight. And on clear nights, unlike tonight, uh, observers in the Baikonur Cosdrome may be able to see a bit of a halo effect of light as the second stage engines ignite prior to the separation from the first stage. Coming up one minute and 50 seconds after launch, first stage shutdown should occur in about uh, 15 seconds. And I'm waiting for confirmation of the ignition of the second stage and a good separation from the first stage. Unfortunately, we can't see it today, so we're waiting for the data to be relayed back to the comm center. Okay, and I do, and I do have confirmation of a good ignition of the uh, second stage and a good separation from the first stage. And we have confirmation of the planned level of thrust on all four second stage engines. Now the second stage will operate for about 3 minutes and 27 seconds. The next key mission milestone will be the separation of third stage from the second stage at L plus 5 minutes and 27 seconds. 20 seconds after that, the payload pairing pyros will fire, which will separate the two halves and jettison them from the vehicle. Lastly, as the ILS Proton travels northeasterly downrange from Kazakhstan into Russian territory, our viewers may notice some brief planned time lags in our reporting of key mission milestones, as the telemetry has to be relayed from multiple ground stations.